Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the core Java module, in today's video we are going to talk about color, font and images. So uh, this comes under unit 5, part 1 in the syllabus CS 8392. Until now we have seen what is graphics programming, how to work with frames, I have shown you a demo on AWT components using label text box and all other components. If you have missed any part of this video, please watch the video. And uh, we have seen life cycle of applet. And in the previous video, we have seen um, how to work with 2D shapes. So in today's video, we'll talk about um, how to color a particular font and how to display images in applet viewer. Let's get into the video. So this uh, program is about uh, coloring your font and uh, specifying what kind of style um, of the font you need, basically. So I have used uh, two packages here, one is applet and awt and basically this color comes from this app awt uh, package and here you ha I have got a class which extends applet. I'm not going to use any main method, instead I'm going to use init method. So initially I have kept um, this string uh, msg is a variable as empty and uh, in this init uh, method uh, I'm going to use font class and I'm going to create an object and here I have specified what kind of style of, of the font which I need. You can mention Times New Roman or other font styles as well. So I want this in bold so I have set that font dot bold and I want the size to be in 40. Okay so here I have set a message msg equal to hello so this is what will get passed here and printed accordingly. And set font I have passed the reference that is f. So uh, whatever you want to do either you want to print a uh, image or if you want to display a shape or if you want to color or, or if you want to display a text definitely you need to overwrite this paint method fine so and uh, set color so color dot blue I have set the font in blue and I'm going to display uh, draws so if you want to display a uh, you know text you need to use this method like draw string and what kind of string is that and you need to specify the width and height and uh, so for the next thing like again I have used set color color dot red and I am going to draw a draw string that is message I have called here which means this hello will get called here right and the width and height is specified so this I'm gonna copy paste this one into my NetBeans IDE you can see this one um, uh, so this is the same thing I have just copy pasted you can go around with this and uh, let me run this program so we are going to get uh, two fonts to be drawn here one is hello and another one is hello world okay so run this file yep you see this hello world is in blue and hello is in red color uh, as specified here all right so if you want to play around with different colors and font styles you can uh, change this program. I'll leave this program in the description box. You can copy paste it and you can play around with this. All right. So the next thing is about displaying an image. Let's go back to the PPT. Yes. So basically, Java provides uh, you know it supports uh, GIF and JPEG format. And um, if you want to uh, display an image, then you need to use java.aw.image package. And uh, under toolkit we have got a lot of subclasses basically toolkit binds all these components okay uh, so this is the program uh, which I'm going to use uh, here I have got um, a AWT uh, package and I have ex used a class and which extends frame this time uh, I have not used applet so I should use main method over here it is there fine so don't get confused with applet and you know uh, with these frames and uh, so here I have got a constructor and over here I have meant we have already explored all these methods like set title set size set visible okay so we know what is this uh, if you have missed those uh, videos initial videos please do watch those videos and again we need to override this paint method as I said this toolkit which has got a lot of components and which is going to bind all these components like uh, I'm gonna use image it is a class okay so I'm just going to uh, um, you know assign this uh, toolkit reference into this and I'm gonna get the image so you need to specify the path uh, from where I mean which image you want to uh, 
you know display so just copy paste the path i'll be showing you uh, how to do that and uh, so uh, how about the size over here so you just specify that then in the main method you just uh, create an object uh, for this class image that's it so um, how about the output uh, let's explore this let me comment this program and have got the program here so this is the program um, which I have copy pasted from the PPT and the same thing but I have set the size to be like this so that we don't want to maximize or not you know and over here I have left this empty um, let me I just want this particular image you know this is one of the video uh, from mini project uh, so what I'm gonna do is I want to display this picture so let's copy the location see this just go to security tab and just copy it and put it in your net beans so this should be in this way right uh, i mean uh, this escape sequences uh, uh, instead of that you need to use double slash it will automatically do all these things okay so if not then you need to use this slash okay fine so uh, i'm just going to run this mm, i need to get the same output right as shown in the image so run this file and it is going to execute and you see this image on frame is our, our title and this is what the image which we have got so this is how you can display images using frames in AWT fine hope you understood um, both these concepts like uh, how to color a font and how to display it and uh, how to uh, you know work with images so um, in the next video um, that is about we are going to uh, explore part 2 in unit number 5 that is called event handling I have uh, planned to make one single video uh, to cover the complete event handling part and uh, for part 3 one single video will be made so I request you to uh, you know uh, watch those videos also so uh, if you have uh, liked this video uh, do like and comment which will motivate me to do more videos like this until that stay tuned thank you and thanks for watching the video